Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to some more Titanfall. Now, I couldn't record the other day, slash two days. Had some exams going and it was, uh, well, there was a lot of work to be done, so... I'm fully aware that a lot of the recording is, um... Oh, the consistency, let's say, on the channel is kind of suffering for, um... As a result of that, but there is... There is not much I can do. I'm trying to, to like, you know, balance the two things out, but... Yeah, anyway, so let's pick up this flat line, and let's take it slow, shall we? Now, usually I tried... Oh, hello. Um, there we go. That is dumb of me. That is really dumb of me. Mind you, if there wasn't another guy there, I could have done it more easily, but alright. Yeah. Actually makes a little bit more sense. Let's get the Spitfire. I think that was a little bit better on uh, in, in these situations. Oh, god damn it. So like I said, let's try and take it a little bit slow and not die as much and uh, just try and clean the place out, if at all possible. Yeah, see. Because there is a lot of these security forces and there is a lot of the facility to go through. I should probably use my stealth ability too. Yeah. Yeah, that helps a lot actually. Should use that way more often. Ooh, now then, how have you all been? <laughs> now that we have a breather. Um a G2. This is exactly what I was whining out about last time. Okay, this is a crushing... Uh... Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. Let it go, smush, and then we... And then we get on top of it. Right. Mm, sure, follow through... And then here. Good. I like it. I really like it. Now, last time, you'll remember, I was whining about the lack of gun variety. Because uh, I've basically just been getting submachine guns. And LMGs. And then, yeah, sure, I got a few special weapons. I got a pistol and, and, and stuff like that. But I was like, you know, a lot of these guns feel samey. Can I get, like, a sub, you know, um, semi-automatic powerful weapon? Well, here's one. Definitely my favorite gun so far. I have a thing for submachine guns, for submachine guns. I do. I have a thing for, for submachine guns, but I have a thing for semi-automatic like rifles like this. Because the truth is, assault rifles are most often used in semi-automatic mode. At least as far as um, local military doctrine is concerned. Now there is a, a good... Um, I suppose, yeah, you know what, I suppose I could talk about this for a while. It's it's a nerdy topic, It's it's doesn't have, it doesn't have anything to do with, with um, Titanfall in general, but... Does that thing get fixed there permanently? No, okay, we're gonna have to... Yeah, see, that's the reason. Um, anyways. At least as far as local military doctrine is concerned. Now, what I mean is... 
Um, let's see how this goes. So you bring him there, I run across, I jump over to the other thing. Fairly simple. Let's go. And there it is. And across. Uh, two rounds each is really, really nice. Now, like I said, a lot of arguments to be made for overwhelming firepower, and in a firefight between two equal squads, um, absolutely, the squad with more firepower will get the other one to put their heads down first, will suppress them first, and then Bob's your uncle. You can then maneuver, you can then flank, you can then use heavier ordnance. Um, you now control the firefight all of a sudden, right? Absolutely. However, um, if it is not down to a, let's say, squad to squad, uh, if it's not down to squad to squad fighting, but you're engaged in something different, like, um, you know, larger operations maybe, or, um, I did not realize that's a turret. Yeah, that got it. Alright, cool. Um, if it's a larger operation, then a lot of the suppressing fire and a lot of that work is going to be done by something else, not your squad. And there, is, there comes a time where you just want to deliver accurate fire on target. And basically, you know, suppression is all fine and well, but at the end of the day, ideally you want to eliminate the threat. So, to that end, um, basically, most modern firearms have... Uh, well, I'd say the vast majority, not even most, have two firing modes, semi-automatic and fully automatic. And that, that is really the ideal scenario, right? So what you would do is if you need to suppress a target, switch to full auto, you know, let it rip, and then if you need precision, pre precise fire downrange, you switch to semi-automatic. In video games, it doesn't work like that, though. Um, in video games... Some guns, sure, will have select fire modes, and, you know, it's good when they do. But, a lot of the time... Yeah, okay, um, anyways, so that looks like they're building dirt, honestly, and like, platforms and, and ground and stuff, as daft as, as that sounds, um, oh, training troops will be, I suppose, could be an option, oh, that, Crushed me, right. Um, <laughs> not too far behind, am I? Yeah, alright. I died way too many times in this, like, general area. Don't really feel great about that, I'll be, on I'll be honest with you. Cover. Um, I'm running low on ammo, which is my other um, problem with fully automatic weapons in most video games, though this does extend to... Crap. This does extend to um, actual military somewhat, at least. Um, and that is, if you are... going to expend a lot of ammunition to suppress a target, um, in prolonged firefights and in wars in general where you perhaps may not have the ability to be resupplied all that often, you're going to find that, sure, suppression is good, it'll get you through the firefight, but the less ammunition you have to carry around and expend 
fighting, the better you will be in the long run. And now, in actual warfare, it's it's a lot more complicated than that, and delivering bullets to soldiers isn't necessarily the word, the, the most difficult thing ever, as um, it said it hit me from behind. I, I assure you it did not. Um, <clears throat> ooh, nice. All right, we have, we have ammo once again. Okay. I forget those explode. Every time I forget those explode. Just please don't put me all the way back. Okay, we're making incremental progress at the very least. I mean, straight up shameful is what it is, but, um, you know, it's alright. It's alright. I'm focusing more on, on what I'm saying rather than what I'm doing. Nearly fell off the freaking cliff. Slide. Okay. Yeah, how about you explode there, no? Hmm, okay, fair enough. Yeah, that's good too. Excellent. Now, um... I'd very much like the other scope, if at all possible. This one's a bit too zoomed in. Guess I don't get that option now. Um, oh well. In video games, ammo tends to be a problem. Um, or at, at the very least, tends to be a resource that you do have to manage. And... There we go. And if you do not manage it properly, you could be, you know, posing yourself unnecessarily an extra challenge. Stuff like Fallout 4 comes to mind, where ammo is, depending on your mod setup, depending on your difficulty, so on and so forth, can be a little bit difficult to obtain, especially in the early-ish stages of the game. We're not going up there, are we, now? Uh, especially in the early-ish stages. Now, DRM does look interesting, but I prefer, I prefer this, I think, because it has more ammo. <clears throat> Mind you, I could use a... No, no, I like this. Alright, I'll keep this. I suppose. Now, in Fallout 4, I remember when I've, when I've, uh, when it was, like, initially released and, like, for the first few hours, well, really for the first few days, everywhere you would see people playing with, like, submachine guns that do barely any damage but have good rate of fire. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm with you, good rate of fire is important, and especially if you're, you know, killing a tanky enemy, then what you're gonna end up seeing is, you know, that enemy is gonna... Can I survive this? I want to believe the answer is yes. Down you go. Alright. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, now, if, for example, you would pick something like a semi-automatic assault rifle or uh, a sniper rifle that uses the same kind of ammunition, and there were ones that used the same kind of ammunition as uh, fully automatic assault rifles, you would have just a ton more of damage potential in your pockets, and that is fairly important, um, because all of a sudden, instead of going through 50 enemies with the amount of bullets that I currently have on me, I could go through 150 maybe, without having to craft more ammunition, buy more ammunition, resupply, and so on and so forth. 
Um, again, you could set the game up so that ammo is not really a problem ever, really. Um, but if you do prefer a more authentic survival experience where ammo is a concern, then yeah. You know, choice of weapon does... Uh, does matter, and I think this translates a lot into into this game where okay, there's a billion rounds everywhere, but not for every weapon, and not for the weapon that maybe you really like. Um, that, and I just like semi-automatic weapons. It, they, they pack a punch. Um, in, in video games, at the very least, they do more damage than, than fully automatic ones in order to justify their existence. Um, so, yeah. Do I like this? It's the same scope, isn't it? I was like, I think I like this scope more. It's the same one. Here, right? I'm somehow supposed to end up on that thing? Uh, looks like it. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay, stop yelling. Oh, also, like, potentially interesting, there's uh, demonstrations and protests in, uh... Oh, is it actually called demonstrations in English? Because... I actually don't know. How... Uh, is there, is there like, another word for protests that's between riot and protest, you know? That's sort of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for, for a word that describes protests that got violent but didn't turn into a riot. It's effectively what I'm looking to... This is building a house, like a proper house. Huh. Amusing. Um, anyways, that's the word I'm looking for. I'm, I'm not sure if, if, if it is demonstrations as well. I know what a demonstration is. When you demonstrate something, why did the game glitch out? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Alright, let's keep going. Um, there are protests, like, all over the country, and they're... Like, some parts are dying down. The, the, there's no more protests in, in, like, the town I live now, but... There were for a few days, and I... Well, look, until legally proven otherwise, I did not participate in those, but let's just say I was indisposed. Uh, but, yeah, jokes aside, there were pretty, um... They were pretty emotional, um, both from the reason people protest to... Like police's response to like church officials getting arrested stuff like that it was it was pretty pretty grim and dark um, for a few days can I take that out with bullets probably not okay let's go stealth mode and damn it Gotcha. Uh, those grenades don't really work on me, do they? Now, part of the problem is I can't really talk about what happened or what I did or to what extent I may or may not have been present there because of it, because it's illegal. Um, not locally, it's illegal to talk about it on, on this website. Um, yeah, it's actually illegal. Even if they were peaceful protests, you're not allowed to talk about basically anything anymore. Um, you used to be able to, like, you know, talk whatever, but now it's like all manner of, of uh, you're not allowed to talk about any any real life stuff that's happening in the world, it's mildly political, you're not allowed to talk about, um, you know, the thing at all, the the, the sea thing, I think that's, that's, that's censorship enough, um, you're not allowed to talk about anything. 
of that nature. And the protests were connected in many ways to like restrictions and, uh, and and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying. I'm, I'm treading very carefully not to say specific things that that the algorithm is going to pick up and be like, "Up, oh, you can't say that." So I'm trying to to like be as self-censored and uh, and careful as I can while actually um, describing what I cannot talk about. Uh, but yeah, it's it's. I don't mind it one way or another, really. It would be nice to talk about stuff that, like, um... How do I put it? Can I actually get on top of this and then... Ooh, yeah. Except I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Oh, dear lord in heaven, I should have been down... Yeah, um, funny. Also, I... Uh. Okay. We're, we're going for a ride. Um, this looks like one of my Factorio factories where stuff is being driven for miles and miles with no real reason. Okay, mate, I'm trying. I seriously am. Um, over there, I suppose, and then up. Yeah. Sounds like it. About time I use some running and not just... Whoa. You're really psychotic, you know that. With Jubble, with Jubble Dump, with Jubble Dump, Juggernaut 2000, bloody 20, um, with Double Jump, those collectibles really aren't that difficult to grab. Um, now, as I say that, right? No? Wait, is this actually where I'm supposed to go? Genuinely looks like it. Okay. Oh, step onto this, right? Yeah. yeah. So it is like a training ground that they're building. Get me the rest of the terrain, I need to feel immersed, come on. Now this is cool, like, you, it, this was building the map that you're gonna fight in as you were walking on it. And traversing like the rest of the map, that that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so this thing is stable, this thing doesn't move, remember that. Ammo's not great, but yeah, we'll manage. Loading scenario one two seven. 
in Dynamic Simulation Show 314. Now, we shall see how impressive you truly are. Uh, okay, I do get light, thank you. Because, like, um... I was gonna say, if you, if, you, if I have to fight in the dark, my, my viewers won't be able to see anything. Militia test subjects, R really? What the hell are spectres? One hundred and seventy beats per minute. I, that's that's extremely dangerous. Also, I'm kind of calm to be honest. Like I'm sniping. Now, can't help but notice that I'm supposed to defeat the Reapers, plural. Care to explain why it's plural? G game? Rick now. Oh, good. Jesus, alright. I need a gun. Okay. One more. Okay, what's this? This is an L star. I remember this one. Um, thanks, I think! Objective. Destroy the militia pilot. I'll copy over. Solid copy. Proceeding to Dome 314. Out. Kappa 1 in position. Awaiting order to proceed. Over. I admire your perseverance, but it's time to end this. Kappa 1 eliminates the militia pilot. You are clear to engage. Opening the door. Squad, prepare for dome breach. Which door? Is that the door? Okay, I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Let them come to me, but also... Use stealth soon, because I'm a... I'm like, I'm a little bit trapped. I think I pissed her off, BT. You will have to explain that expression later. Get out of there while you can. You haven't learned the expression, piss someone off. Gotcha. Why did you send, like, the regular troopers to... 
It's anticlimactic, is all it is. Like, I, I don't mind, but it's. No, they don't lack my resolve, they lack my skills, dare I say it, but it, why would you send infantry as the final wave? Like, clearly if I've killed the Terminator Deathbot, then, you know, couple of guys with rifles isn't exactly gonna make me fall over, is it? Let's go. Ash, they'll be killed that pilot. I am dealing with her. Stop getting caught up in your games. Am I not allowed to enjoy myself while I work? Not when your work suffers. Point taken. Ash out. Don't worry. With the price I'm putting on his head, you can buy all the toys you want. Sector 4 charge on. Detonate charges 21 through 29. No, don't detonate charges. Sounds very dangerous. The Mastiff. Shotgun, basically, alright. I'll take a Spitfire on the Mastiff. Figure I can use this instead of the pistol. Oh. Bye bye. You know, just in case and all that. Nah, nah, damn it. Damn it. Let me let me try again. What I did, dear friend, is squat. <laughs> I've beaten the training program, yay. Um, you know. Actually, I figure it's not a training program, it's more of an execution. Location, or an execution arena, if that makes sense. Because, like, I take it she takes prisoners of war there and, like, makes them fight the death robots until they until they die for amusement. Um, but there is some kind of practical very interested in this, yes. It looks like a German paratrooper rifle from World War II. And I have no idea what they're called, because I forgot. The FT something, was it? Or am I just mixing that up with a different rifle? Both equally possible. Um, yeah, I can tell me what I'm, what I'm supposed to do because I'm not really sure. Oh, there's a hole in the thing there, yeah, obviously. Eh, jumped a bit early, but that's okay. Hey man, let's go. Suggest you embark on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush. Here we go.
Check your heart. All right, pilot. How about you find something bigger than a crow? Crap. I've so I've noticed the bloody three of them spawned on top of my head and I forgot all the buttons and the controls to this thing because yeah all right what am I using brute um, let's go with the scorch Does the shield just, like, not work anymore? No, the shield just doesn't bloody work anymore, alright. Let's try, um, Tone, I guess. I think I like this one for anti-mech warfare. Yeah, because you see it keeps them, uh... Shot at the wrong freaking thing. Like, you don't let me choose my own targets. Fuck off. Okay, give me health. I know there's a bunch hiding around. Give me health. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Definitely my favorite mech loadout. For fighting other mechs. Titans can't call the mechs because Mech Warrior Online exists. Yes, it is. Yes, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Right, is that is that like a legitimate reason, Juggernaut? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a copyright reason. Believe it or not, you cannot call the Mech Warriors or Mechs. I mean, eh, you can, but. It's risky, and most companies don't want to take the risk. Because you can get sued over it, basically, and um, chances are the judge that's going to have to decide who's right is going to be like 90 years old, and what, a person that's never touched a video game in their lives. So, really, it's like, it's, it's basically gambling, so people just opt for something else. Um, like even companies that are extremely jealous and extremely possessive of their um, any of their property and any of their anything slightly resembling their property um, yeah let's go um Oh, salvo core ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I need this. I need this. Alright. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, I just need to pick up some health and I'll be good. Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! Peek, come on, you know you're gonna peek. Security lockdown has been disengaged. 
I mean, that's one hell of a s security system. Oh, no, the commander of the base is dead. Alright, but better open everything up like it's over now. Come on. Pilot, I have concluded we should take no further shortcuts. Oh, really? It took you this long to conclude that, did it? And they say AI is gonna become smarter than humans one day. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here because I'm really, really sleepy. I haven't been getting much sleep at all lately and um, still have a lot of work to do for um, this Tuesday and this Friday. I have some exams, so yeah. Um, I think we did pretty well. I think we did pretty well. We're going to continue on next time. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe down below. <laughs> like, subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video and want to stay tuned with the rest of the content. I'm going to continue the conversation on um, whatever I started talking about as best I can next time, you know, given the, the strict rules regarding um, speaking out about stuff like that um, online. And yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see you all next time. I notice people really, really seem to to enjoy Titanfall. It's, um, I think it's it's one of those games that's really good to look at. Or like a playthrough is really fun to, to look at, but not that, um, not the kind of game where you like really, really want to play it as soon as you see it, uh, because you're basically gonna go through the same thing as uh, as the as the Let's Player. So yeah. Anyways, I'm really happy that that people are enjoying it, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Thank you for all the support. Bye bye.